Are you last place in every thruster workout? Is your rack position in your thruster f***ed up? <laughs> Are you not able to stay upright in your front squat in your thruster? When you thruster going overhead, are you able to cycle them efficiently or do you look like shit? If so, this is the video for you, how to get better at your thrusters. What's going on everybody? This is Bakari here at CrossFit RVA in Richmond, Virginia. Here my man Jaw. We're continuing the open series. This is episode 20. Today we're going over the correct body positions in the thruster and how to cycle them efficiently as possible. As we all know, the thruster is a basic front squat into an overhead press. Now first thing we're going to address is that front rack position. So if Jaw go ahead and gets into that front rack position. All right, we don't want that front rack to be as far forward as we would in a regular front squat or our elbows as far down as we would in a strict press, okay? We want it somewhere in between where we're still resting on those shoulders with that full hand grip, okay? From this position, we're able to get a great position to go overhead into that full press. A lot of times, people, when they front squat with maybe, let's say our elbows are too far down, they won't be able to hold on to the bar when it's in that front squat position, okay? And if it's too far up, our elbows aren't leading us into the correct bar path going overhead. So that's why we want it right in that middle position right there, right about 45 degrees facing the ground. Now, for that front squat portion of the thruster, in the bottom of the hole in that front squat, and the jaw goes into a front squat here, we wanna make sure our torso is straight up and down as far as possible, okay? We don't wanna be bent over, wanna be, <laughs> right. So we wanna be straight up and down, making sure our elbows are nice and high, as high as we can get them with that full front rack position. Thank you, Jaw, appreciate it. Now, after our torpo, torso position is straight upright, coming out of this front squat, we're gonna go overhead for that full thruster. Boom, and notice that jaw has a neutral spine, belly's tight, butt is squeezed, and we are in a great overhead position at the top of that thruster. Now, when we go back to that front rack, and let's just go back, right back to that front rack position right here, y'all. Good, okay, what we wanna do, we wanna cycle these efficiently. So, the best way to do that, especially when it's four time and we have a high amount of thrusters in our workout, okay, we wanna make sure, we wanna imagine there's a button on our shoulder. As Soon as you're passing the eyes, going overhead, bringing that button down, we're right back down to that front squat. So let's see a couple thrusters here, jaw, when we're cycling. Good. Notice that jaw, as soon as it's passing his eyes, coming back down to the shoulders, he's right back down into that front squat. Perfect. Now, for improving that rack position in the thruster, we have a great stretch called the front rack um, stretch, which is with, using a band, okay? So if we have jaw first put his elbow inside the band, all right, and then grab the outside of the band with that hand, okay? Then we're gonna step forward. We're working on getting more external rotation, all right, through, the, through this upper shoulder and working on that front rack position, trying to hold this position for at least 30 seconds at a time, okay? And this is a great stretch to use uh, probably every day if you have trouble holding that front rack position um, before your workouts, also after your workouts to use. And you can do this about three times for 30 seconds, and this is a great stretch you can do this on both sides to get that better front rack. All right, now for to get that upright position in the bottom of that front squat, a great way to get the mobility in that T-spine, that thoracic spine, is using a foam roller underneath that mid to upper spine there and then grabbing on the upright to stretch that whole upper spine, thoracic spine, like we said. And this would translate very well to the bottom of a front squat, even any other Olympic lifts in the bottom of a squat where you need to be very upright. Um, and Jaw's doing a great job here, just holding that stretch for about 20 to 30 seconds. And this is also something you use in your daily warm up every day to get that better front squat position. And once again, my name is Bakari. We just went over the thruster and your correct positions with them and cycling them efficiently. Again, this is Jaw. Make sure you subscribe to us on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. Make sure you click on the Cityscape. Subscribe, and we'll be back with you next time on episode 21 on the wall ball and how to make that very efficient for the open. Peace.